Understanding how IFC works within Blender is not so easy. So let me try to break this down for you and maybe it's going to be easier to understand. As you already know, Blender Beam is an add-on in Blender. So Blender is the main tool, the main software and Blender Beam is installed as an add-on. And what that exactly means is that it enables Blender with some new functionalities. And in this case, Blender Beam and IFC OpenShell are emulating the IFC schema, transforming Blender and Blender Beam into a native IFC environment. Now, the confusion might come right here. What we see right now is the Blender Beam interface, but at the same time, we are in Blender. And what do I mean by that is that if we are using default Blender tools to model things, they will not automatically translate to IFC. What do I mean by that? Let me show you. If I want to add, for example, a cube, the magic Blender cube, this right here, it's not an IFC model. And if I save this as an IFC, you will see here that I cannot even save it. And of course, there is no surprise why, right? Because we did not even create an IFC project, right? In Blender, we can just model everything and save everything as a blend file, which is the main extension for Blender files. So I can save this as a blend file without any issues. But if I want to take this into Blender Beam or into the IFC schema, then I need to do something else. I either have to use Blender Beam tools, which are here, and here, some of them, or we have to choose these objects that we have modeled in Blender, which are modeled as meshes, and convert them into IFC elements. So, as I already said, it's not possible to save IFC, right? So, we cannot do anything. So, let's create a project first and see what we can do. I'll create an IFC for a metric project. It's okay blank project. I will not use any demo library this time, so I will click on create project. Now we got these things right here. And like I said, there are two ways to get these objects that we modeled into Blender Beam. Now, if I want to take this one that I modeled in Blender, we see that this is modeled as a cube in a collection right here called collection, and it's outside our IFC project, right? So if I want to take this inside our project, I will need to assign a class to this. Let's say that, I don't know, maybe this is a column or a footing or something like that, right? So what I have to do is to go here and choose from here what kind of element is this. And I will go for IFC element in this case. And I will use uh, what I said, let's say uh, footing. Let's go to F. There we go. And here... Do we know what kind of predefined type it is? Well, let's say we can choose a pad footing, for example. But yeah, you can choose whatever you want. You can choose any of these from here in this list, or you can use a user defined and give it its own name. My footing, for example. Let's go with this for this example. And after assigning this, just pay att close attention to this, what's happening here, right? Pay close attention to what's going to happen here. I'll click on assign and voila, now we see that our cube has been moved into our IFC project and it's still called cube, of course, which is not so nice. So we can say that we want to change the name. We can do it here or in this place right here with edit. So let's do it here in this tab. And now let's call this footing one. Let's be boring. And we see that this has been updated here. And now this is something that we can save into an IFC project. As you can see here, save IFC project or save IFC project as, right? So this is the way that we can do it. And this is not actually the recommended way of doing things. It's better to use the native parametric modeling tools built within Blender Beam. But sometimes we need to model some different, more complex meshes that are not included in these tools which we can use right here, right? So in that situation, we have to do exactly this. So we model in Blender and then we classify that object or element as an IFC element. And like I said, the recommended way to do that, like for example, is to do this and create a wall. I will add an IFC type and then wall type and then I will just add a 
random wall this is what happening and we can see that in this case there was no confusion about what is this and where it is and we can see that actually in this case we don't have our cube in our story so i will need to drag it right here to have it on the same building story meanwhile the ifc wall was assigned exactly where it's supposed to be so this is the interface between blender beam and blender modeling using blender vanilla tools we get blender objects and if we want to transform them into ifc objects we have to assign that specifically it doesn't happen by default so it's very important to keep this in mind if you are modeling in blender beam if you're interested to learn more tips and tricks about blender beam you might interested you might be interested to watch this video right here